by Andrew Shuster 553 p.m. October 2, 2017 Getty Images An article with supposed details all about how Prince Harry recently asked Meghan Markle's father for her hand in marriage was completely made up. The story comes from Hollywood Life, a webloid that constantly pretends to have insider knowledge about celebrities. Gossip Cop can expose the site's latest fabrication. The untrustworthy site claims to have spoken to a palace insider, who allegedly spilled, Harry asked Meghan's father for her hand in marriage the last time he was in Canada, and Thomas Markle, 72 was very happy to give his blessing. Thomas loves Harry, as do all of Meghan's family, and he especially loves how happy his daughter is and how much Harry clearly adores her. The outlet seemingly phony source goes on to say Prince Harry also asked his grandmother Queen Elizabeth, 91 for permission to marry, which she has granted. The site further quotes its questionable insider as revealing, the Queen met Meghan earlier this month and was quite taken with her. So, she is very happy for Meghan to join the family. Does Hollywood Life really expect its readers to believe that it has a close relationship with a royal source who found out that Prince Harry met Markle's father and then decided to divulge the details the outlet even states that he's yet to propose to his girlfriend, but somehow a palace insider is willing to risk ruining the surprise by telling a random blog all about it as Gossip Cop has repeatedly noted, no one close to the royal family is speaking to Hollywood Life. The site's latest article about Prince Harry's supposed meeting with his girlfriend's father is simply mad oop, and all the quotes are fake. This is just another example of the outlet coming up with creative fan fiction and trying to pass it off as journalism. Gossip Cop recently busted the site for making up a story about Markle meeting Queen Elizabeth. We also called out the webloid for purporting to know Prince Harry and Markle's baby plans. This latest article is similarly bogus.